Welcome back to NT Center Fiduce Baseball Classic Edition, where we are going to once again jam through three days of group play. And we're going to start with a game that would have been fully recapped as our game of the week if it wasn't for the batshit craziness of that brand new ball players convicts game that we did put in there. Now, this one shows that the red rum row runners got out to a quick four nothing lead in the first over the teddy bears. However, Teddy Bears cut that to a 4-3 lead after one and took a 6-5 to five lead after two. They take a 7-5 lead into the seventh where a run from the runners would make it 7-6. to six. They get that run back in the bottom of the inning and now it's 8-6 to six, only to see the runners score a pair of runs in the eighth. That's going to tie us up. But then... The teddy bears would take the lead back in the bottom of the eighth anyways. A leadoff double from Mickey Cochrane in the ninth looked like it would put the runners back in business, but a sack bunt went bad. Cochrane thrown out at third. Still, despite that, a single from Oscar Charleston put two on and one out, but Charles Bender retires John Anderson and Lou Gehrig to end the game. And that crazy one, that crazy one, Goes to the Teddy Bears. Receipt of free followers continued their hot start. They got seven innings out of Jack Morris. Jim Rice homered twice, and they take down Miasma 9-2. to two. Thanks to three-run homers from Babe Ruth and Vinny Castilla, House of the Dragoons jumped out to an 8-1 to one lead over Remember the Alarmo. But a five-run eighth inning saw Alarmo get to within 12-9, only for the Dragoons to get a two-run homer from Rogers Hornsby, who, of course, dedicated it to Tyra. They'll hang on for a 14-10 win. Eight runs on eight hits in four innings will get them saying you might not be an ace, and Garrett Cole's going to have to live with that after that's what the DeLorean drivers lit him up like a terrorist gang after a uranium sale goes bad. Ken Griffey Jr. had two homers and five RBI. Barry Bonds had two homers and four RBI. And I'll just say that it's fucking cool those two not only play together, but bat back-to-back -back in the same lineup. It really is. Lad Amazings continued their perfect start to group play. They got a grand slam homer from Albert Pujols, his second of the game, to pull away from Teddy Bears late. A three-run eighth inning had pulled the Bears to within nine to seven, but that Pujols slam put the game out of reach, and put his daily RBI count up to seven. Hey, speaking of grand slams, Chipper Jones hit a grand slam. Jason Giambi drove in three runs. Atlanta leap year lemurs. They take down the convicts eight to seven. How's this for a back and forth one? It was four nothing to Alarmo, then five to four to the Dragoons. Then it was tied at five. Then we were done with that back and forth nonsense because it was 14 to five to the Dragoons. They cruise from there. They got three hits each from Harry Heilman and Rogers Hornsby. Jack Doyle drove in four and they rough up Alarmo in that one. The Say Hey Willie Mays Hayses were down nine to five to enter the ninth, but had brought in three runs as Yogi Berra stepped up with one out and runners on second and third. Would Yogi play hero? Yes, but for the Rum Row Runners, as he hits into a game-ending 4-2-3 double play, and the runners escape with a 9-8 victory. Tied at 5, entering the 8th inning, three true outcomes would turn to shit goblin methods to break the tie. Trey Turner got a leadoff double, moved to third on a ground out from Jeff McNeil, scores on a wild pitch during an at-bat where JT Real Muto strikes out. After singles by Mag Trout and Mookie Betts, Bryce Harper would watch Trout score on another wild pitch. He then doubles and score Betts, so they score three in the inning. Craig Kimbrell works an easy ninth. Zach Britton works anything but an easy ninth. But three true outcomes does hang on to get the win. And just in case I fucked that one up, it was an eighth inning that was easy for Kimbrell, not a ninth inning. Lad Amazing spotted their opponent six runs, which turns out to be a really poor strategy as they lose their first game by six runs. Willie Stargell hit a three-run homer. Yogi Berra hit a two-run homer. 
Both of those came in the first inning. It was eight to nothing in favor of say, hey, Willie Mays Hayes is after three. Stan Musial adds a three run homer that pushes it to 12 to two. Albert Pujols does hit a grand slam. That makes it somewhat interesting, but neither team scores after that. And 12 to six is our final score. The Atlanta leap year lemurs jumped out to a five nothing lead in the first and then tried to hang on for dear life against the miasma theory. Ned Williams leads off the ninth inning with a solo homer that pulls Miyaza within five to four. But I'm going to check my notes here and try this right. I do. Fucking Eddie Guardado got ground outs from Fred Dunlap and Pete Browning, plus a fly out from the pinch hitting Denny Lyons and the Lemurs get that win. Babe Ruth had a homer and a triple. John Anderson and Lou Gehrig each collected three hits and not going to lie. It's painful to say this, but Bob Gibson kind of sucked again. Rum row runners pound the bandwagoners, 12 to 5. Vinny Castilla homered off Corey Kluber in the first, and House of the Dragoons used a four-run seventh inning to hold off a late charge from three true outcomes. T2O does get a leadoff homer from Bryce Harper in the ninth and a two-out RBI double from Trey Turner. That makes it 8 to 7. But the pinch-hitting Christian Yelich rounds out to second on the first pitch he saw, and that was the ball game. And look, I'm going to be honest, this reporter, for one, did not have receipt of free followers at 5-1 and one looking like a juggernaut. But after a 12-1 to one dismantling of brand new ball players, that's where we are. Ozzie Smith had five hits. Jim Rice had four, including a homer. And the Gator tossed seven innings of one run, three-hit baseball to lead the bandwagoners to that win. That's going to do it for Inti Center this time. We will see you next time here at the Fiduce Baseball Classic for another whip around. Group play in Fiduce.